Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you game 3 and the final game between Remind and Todd here on Lost Temple. Lost Temple, a predominantly human favored map. And because we're playing on Lost Temple, Remind decides to use Orc instead of Night Elf in the previous two matchups. Perhaps trying to use that, um, that Fountain of Health in the middle of the map a little bit more to his advantage. This is once again game 3 of the sh from the Shadow League. This is a Trophy of Legends tournament. Hope you guys have been enjoying it, bringing in some of the best old school players and new school players around. We do have um, Todd not speed building anything and getting early altars as well on both sides. Most likely because there are no tavern heroes on this map as it is Lost Temple. We do have Remind getting an early barracks as well. And this is game three, as I stated, in a best of three matchup. Todd did take the first game on Secret Valley. Uh, Remind took the second game with some good micro and Todd being unable to set up an expansion. Um, Todd just pretty much uh, forfeited the game in, after seven or eight minutes into it. Remind is currently currently training a Blade Master. Meanwhile, we have an Archmaid being trained from Todd. So. Archmage versus Blade Master, a very classic human matchup, and we now have a scout farm being produced in the middle of the ramp. And they're gonna quickly Todd's gonna quickly find out that this is not gonna be a close exp close expand. Remind most likely would would have liked to know or had Todd spawn in this location, so it would be easy to harass this particular gold mine and and be able to prevent the expansion. But this is gonna be cross spawns, so the art I believe that Todd is gonna be able to set up that expansion with little to no issues whatsoever. Archmage is going to be produced in about 12 seconds, and Blade Master will be popping out relatively shortly as well. That peasant, not quite sure where to go yet, uh, still has not found the main base, and the footman is now patrolling that area to the south, right outside the natural expansion. Archmage is going to pop out right now and be, tr drop a water elemental. No, it's not dropping a water elemental quite yet. And the Blade Master is going to go ahead and head to the north. So no, Blade Master not knowing where Todd is, and we have now we have a Water Mental being dropped down, quickly trying to take down those Troll Berserkers as those Troll Troll Berserkers do the most damage. And focusing down those two units, and then going to probably switch over to the Ogre Warlord. No, yes, yeah, switch to the Ogre Warlord. Uh, Blade Master knowing that isn't a, a close spawn, and now trying to use the, trying to use the temple and trying to take out the Troll Berserkers on the top left and bottom right hand side of that temple. Most likely for those um, for those Blade Master um, Uber items, we do have a glove of haste being dropped. And meanwhile, the peasants are now back in the peasant form, no longer in militia form, and are now going to go ahead and speed build a town hall. So nice, easy expansion coming in. And we have um, we have Remind now trying to take down a second Troll Berserker, and that Troll Berserker should should go down without any issues, unless Todd is able to go ahead and press back in. And Todd just trying to um, get some additional gold right now, knowing that since there isn't any harassment, Remind is most likely Remind is most likely creeping in the center and needs those items desperately. Perfect items for Remind. Remind having a circulate of nobility and gloves of haste. So two of the two of the best items coming in. And Archmage is going to come in there and see that there is pretty much nothing left of this bottom right hand corner. Knows that the the Blade Master is nearby. Blade Master now trying to push in over towards the towards the expansion and remind as any other orc player sees what he hates to see an early expansion coming in from a human player on lost temple trying to focus down those trying to focus down some um, peasants right now one peasant is going to go down blade master trying to do uh, uh, trying to just kill peasants and make todd really pay for T pay for this expansion right now and we have the blade master blade master gonna go ahead and try to take down um, a guard tower the arcane tower arcane tower goes down relatively quickly but the tower is now up and running remind trying to save that one grunt and now we have a lot of units trying to run in one grunt will fall but i believe that blade the blade master is doing a good job preventing any use of this gold mine at this point Another uh, no, he was ooh, able to push out that grunt using the the wind the wind walk ability of the blade master. Gonna try to take down that uh, yes, able to take down the um, the peasant and then able to use um, use wind walk to get away so no longer being surrounded. So nice micro wing coming in from Remind. We do have a peasant scouting out the base. Does see that there is an early that there is an upgrade to stronghold already, but does not know how far along it is. The shadow hunter should be being trained 
it momentarily. And we do have a Voodoo Lounge being built in the middle of the base, but that Voodoo Lounge should uh, fall relatively quickly or get focused fired from the Archmage in, in short time. So, yes, he's going to drop it down a Water Mental and that as that last seconds of that Voodoo Lounge, it, it will lose about half of its life and because it does take extra damage from piercing. Archmage or Blademaster now trying to heal back up to halfway already. And unfortunately, that Voodoo Lounge is just going to fall without uh, really providing any items to that Blade Master. That Blade Master now trying to perhaps get some harassment in um, on this on this expansion once more. Arcane Tower uh, should fall relatively quickly uh, as it is not done yet and will not drain any of the any of the mana from that Blade Master is what is what it really needs to do. So down goes that Guard Tower, and now perhaps now focusing down a second Guard Tower as well as Grunts are going to come in. But we do have the Archmage and the Mount Archmage with those footmen, no defend on them, but trying to push in some, on some harassment. Uh, Remind does have a Shadow Hunter in the mix, and it, he, but he is not repairing that yet. We do have a Squirrel of Town Portal coming in. And Squirrel Town Portal is going to go ahead and put those units right there. Do we have a Hex or do we have Healing Wave? Haven't seen a single a single skill coming in from that Shadow Hunter yet. Not quite sure what he's really looking for. Perhaps should prob no. We do have a Hex on that Archmage. Archmage quickly getting Hex, but I think it would have been better if he if he got Healing Wave in order to get some um, just heal those low that low hit point Grunt that just fell. And another grunt may fall due to uh, due, due to that, and we have another hex coming in, being able to try to focus down a footman. A nice denial from the Todd to focus down that last get that last hit on that footman, and we have some no more footmen now coming in, perhaps to do some more creeping, as well. One low hit point grunt should fall to this archmage. And, and the but the grunt should the grunt will most likely try to wake up these creeps, and. No, not quite sure if he's gonna wake up creeps or not. Trying to run, trying to run. Will he make it? Will he make it? He's trying to run to the north. And this grunt is just running a marathon and there's a Congo line trying to chase him down. Uh, anyways, going ahead and heading back over to the Blade Master and the Shadow Hunter. Blade Master is going to try to use this fountain of health for the last 30 minutes in the day right now. So and these creeps will wake up in just a moment. And the Blade Master is now forced, does not want to take on those creeps, is forced to go ahead and pull back out. So the Blade Master was able to get half of his life back. We do have a Voodoo Lounge being built once more, and we do have a Bestiary being built on the ramp. So um, so we are going to have early raiders coming in and try to pressure this expansion. Arcane Vault being produced, Todd currently uh, upgrading the keep at this point, and the Peasants now trying to run back as well. Footman, footman, trying to see, trying to make sure that there is no expansion coming in from Remind at this point in time, and Remind's gonna, or Todd's gonna quickly see that there is none, and quickly see a Shadow Hunter, Archmage now coming back in from the north, and Remind is gonna be forced to pull back. Three towers being put down by Todd over here at the southern expansion. Beast, only a single bestiary right now, so um, I don't see a secondary bestiary, and I do not know if Ensnare has been researched yet. I would believe not at this point in time, as it's, if it's a single bestiary. I think I saw a, a raider already being produced. Yeah, so there's two raiders, so not really being able to do to do any of the additional damage. A quick ensnare on Todd, and Todd is is forced to go ahead and teleport out of there. Todd now, uh, Remind now going to try to focus down and try to um, clear out his natural expansion, perhaps even try to expand here. We do have a scout farm being produced by Todd over here to the south to make sure that Remind doesn't take this expansion as well. Blademaster make it to level 3, not quite sure. Blademaster down to 83 hit points. Both both able to get to level, both heroes are have leveled, so Remind currently sitting at level 3 on his Blademaster, while, um, while level 2 on the Shadow Hunter. Archmage has been healed and is now once again venturing forth back out into the world. Going to go ahead and head to the north and try to take down this goblin merchant shop. And drop a water elemental, push forward, but he's got to be careful with that rock golem as the rock golem really likes to boulder, um, boulder the archmage whenever I try to fight and take out this creep camp. So here we have, we have an archmage now trying to push in, trying to focus down the units and stay tuned for part two of this replay between um, between Remine and Todd here on Lost Temple.